to make things to be understood even to ourselves. We need to write to believe that connections between people can be profound and magical. We need to paint to believe that the world can be examined and understood. We need to draw to believe that beauty can be found in unlikely places. We need to sculpt to believe that life continues against all odds to be surprising and hopeful. And we need to sew and knit and photograph and carve and digitise and screen print to show what we believe to be true about the burden and wonder of our lives. Things that we can't speak about or tell about in any other way that would be believed. My work is called In My Shoes, which is all about the way we imprint on our shoes and how our shoes take the imprint of our life back. Uh, it's been a great exhibition this year and my special congratulations to Leika Hashimoto on her beautiful winning work. I've used lino in this artwork. It's lino that I've um, rescued from old homes that have now been demolished in and around where I live in Thrall. Some of the lino used in this artwork actually comes from Scotland. And also I chose to recognise how the church was um, prominent with the family and Georgie Thornbird wrote a poem called um, Religion, Not Adverse to Pleasure. The first thing that resonates with me about Rugal is that I have a house from a similar era. When I saw a picture of Marugal, it instantly caught my attention as I have this very old, funny little weatherboard house. The second thing that uh, caught my attention with Marugal was the idea of generations of women living together, working, preserving fruit, crocheting, doing embroidery, and that um, is what my family has sort of done in the small place of Fargo. I've been taught all those same sorts of craft skills, including this year's work, which is um, pieces of crocheted sections from my grandmother who passed away 10 years ago. She taught me to crochet, not that I've kept up the tradition.